All right, I have Glenn Randall here, uh, who just ran the U.S. Mountain Running Championships in, where are we, Cranmore? Cranmore Mountain, up there. Uh, it was a 12K. Tell us about it, Glenn. Well, we take, us, take us through the race. I guess that was an open-ended question. Yeah, I, um, how did it play out? Uh, it started out, and uh, there was about 300 meters of uphill. Mm -hmm. And I got out in a uh, pretty decent position, and then it kind of slowed down um, right across the uh, top, and then Max King took off down the hill, and uh, I decided to go with him. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, I think it was Wacko took off uh, going up the hill. Andy and, Wacko? Yeah, Andy Wacko, and I let him get a little bit, but tried to stay fairly close uh, just in case he was pulling a stage candidate. Right. Or a Glenn Randall. In... Yeah, or... <laughs> I, I, I don't automatically discount somebody if they're uh, going hard, but I didn't quite want to be going the pace he did. Right. So I was just keeping him uh, keeping him close enough that I felt like I could keep an eye on him. Yeah. Uh, and what about, like, you, you made the team today, I guess we should, yeah, uh, yeah, the U.S. I mountain running team. I made the team. team today. I was fourth overall. I was... I generally tell the whole story of my race and then get to the place right. so that way people are on the edge of their seat the entire time. Right, sorry, I can edit that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we got to the top of the uh, first lap and I was uh, in second place with, I think Joe Gray was right behind me, mm -hmm. I'm not completely sure. Yeah, I believe he was. Uh, then I went down just trying to keep a pretty good pace, uh, caught Andy. And uh, I think, if I remember correctly, um, Max King caught uh, caught us. And then I I just kind of overestimated my own fitness and uh, put in a bit of a surge, you know, trying to kind of steadily step my way up to uh, running really really fast the last lap. So I ran up the uh, second last lap pretty hard, but at a pace that I thought I could pull off and uh, hit the top and Joe Gray took off uh, right before we got to the top and I was like, uh oh, this was maybe not such a great idea. Um, so I was trying to hold it together because I knew that, you know, to make the team I just had to be top six and I might be able to, you know, kind of get myself back in it to uh, challenge Joe and uh, one of those happened, the other did not. Okay. Uh, I ended up in uh, fourth place and was the whole way up the last lap. I was just like, come on, Finnish, you need to get here right now or yeah. the guys behind me are going to catch me. Right, right. So, impressive race. There's, It's only getting more competitive. Yeah, it was, I mean, I thought it was a really competitive race and those guys uh, those guys were running really fast. And right. And uh, fellow Team Colorado teammate yes, Alex that Nichols. Was, that, was, uh, that was really exciting. Also made the team. Actually, at first I just saw uh, Andy's hair and thought it was Alex Nichols. And yeah. I was like, oh, sweet, Team Colorado's sitting in one, two. Yeah. He has nice hair. Both yeah. of them do, I guess. Yeah. I see how you got him mixed up. Well, and it's, it's the sort of thing I don't know what uh, jerseys anybody's wearing out there. And right. I, I just get confused doing races. I have no yeah. idea who I'm running against. Yeah. Yeah, you just run to be the first one across the line. Yeah, I mean, it's... You just run and it's... I mean, for me, it's uh, it's all about... It's not necessarily about trying to beat a time or somebody else. If, if you can go out there and just get a good race in... Right. I know a lot of people think a lot about results, and I feel like if you just think of getting a good race, the results are going to take care of themselves. Yeah. Whereas if you spend all of your time thinking about, you know, this time or beating this guy or getting this place, then you might not have as good of a race, and then the results aren't going to happen anyways. Right. All right, well, well, maybe I'm just swinging with that. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank uh, you. And uh, you'll be heading to Poland, so. Yeah. So have fun there. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, talk to you soon, Peter.